Ben, four years at the club, 100th game on Saturday against Bargoid. Yeah. Any particular memories of the four years? My first game, uh, coming in, it was the last game of the season. And uh, it was quite an important game. And um, the season before last, when we had a good run, got to the playoff final and uh, almost uh, Almost done the business. You were quite the cult hero in that those two games when you the playoff games. Do you score in the both? I, yeah, I did actually score in both games. I wouldn't quite wouldn't go as far as to say cult hero. Uh, right place at the right time, I'd say, it was more uh, more fit in. So uh, during those um, four years as well, any players or any type of stories that you've got that could that, that spring to mind? I wouldn't say it's the players that cause more of the trouble than uh, the coaches, perhaps. <laughs> I remember once having a Heimlich manoeuvre, uh, Lyndon over the breakfast table because he was choking, to, choking on his bacon. So we're looking at um, the first game, as you alluded to then, Kamala Quinns, that was your first game. It was a high-pressured situation for Aberavon as a club facing, mm -hmm. the, looking down the barrel of relegation. So yeah. coming into that environment, that high-pressured atmosphere, what, what was that like for you? It was something that I'd missed, you know, the pressure, the intensity. Um, and it was after that game that I realised, you know, I did miss that kind of level of competition, you know, as well with the uh, the intensity of the fans, you know, what they bring to a match day. It made me realise that was what I wanted to be, you know. There was a point last year where I thought I was going to, um, I was going to stop playing, uh, retire at the end of the season because I was having like recurring shoulder issues, um, nerve pain on my arm constantly, 24 hours a day. Um, but I missed, so, I missed so much rugby, I played so little rugby last year that I couldn't finish on such a low. I didn't want to finish not on my terms, you know, like you had the privilege of doing yeah, yeah. the season pre, uh, previous. Getting to 100 games meant something to me and it was something that I targeted when I signed and um, not to get it last year was disappointing and uh, having another season was the only way forward for me really. So, good. so 100 games is, as you said, is quite a good stint. It's a, yeah, it's a milestone, yeah. But, uh, I mean, what's, what's kept you at Aberavon? Everybody behind, you know, the backroom staff, you know, um, just the family nature of the club and just the passion everybody's got and just, you know, the friends that you make there as well, you know. So what about the season? How is, obviously firstly yourself, how are you shaping up and Aberavon as a team? I think we're getting back to the, the heights from a couple of seasons ago when we were firing. Um, I'd say last year was a bit of a, maybe a transitional year for us. We lost a couple of inspirational players, um, leaders in the squad. Buddha and uh, no, not just Buddha and uh, <laughs> um, yeah and we kind of uh, <laughs> kind of lost our way a little bit last year um, but I think we're back to doing what we do best playing expansive rugby playing attacking rugby with the, you know purpose um, and yeah I, this season's shaping up to be something you know something special. Ben congratulations on your 100 games thank you it's been a privilege playing with you and against you from a couple of clubs, a tough opponent. I hope you have many, many more games for Aberavon and all the best for tomorrow's game against Bargoy. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.